Hello, my name is Matthew Howlett, and this is the first video of a multi-part series on creating custom COCO data sets. So in this video, we're going to discuss downloading required resources and setting up our Python environment. So for this video tutorial series, I'm going to be following a written guide I wrote. You can find this guide um, at this GitHub account, which is Howell0893 Custom Object Detection Datasets. The link will be in the description of this video. Um, everything you need is going to be there, like I said. I also include where I got everything from. Um, so the two Python scripts we're going to be using is from CocoSynth Git repo. This is actually a repo built for a Udemy course on creating Coco data sets. Um, I think the course runs for around $11. Um, but two Python scripts that we want from this is creating the Coco JSON utils, which we will use after we annotate our images and have our mask images and have our mask definition JSON file. This will create the Coco instances annotation file that completes our Coco data set. Um, and then the other thing we want is a Jupyter Notebook Coco image viewer. This is a good check after we create our Coco data set to view our bounding boxes on each of our images. Um, so we'll go th through those at a later time. Another thing that you may want um, is Anaconda. You can do this without Anaconda, but I think it's a very easy way to set up our Python environment. I give you some commands to put into the Anaconda prompt um, to get you going. There's a requirements.txt both in the GitHub repo I made and the CocoSynth repo. Uh, the requirements.txt is same for both and it helps sets up the Python scripts for um, the Python scripts in this CocoSynth repo. So I already did this, um, but feel free to go ahead and do that and download the repo and get it on your device. Um, once you do so, I put it on my desktop. It should look something like this. You won't have the video guides folder, don't worry about that. Um, another optional download is Sublime Text Editor. Uh, I like this text editor um, for editing Python. You can open up whole folder. Um, you can use anything you want here. Visual Studio is a good one. That's optional. Next thing you're going to need is a the image editing software that we'll be using to annotate the images of our data set. Um, I use GIMP. It's a free editing tool. I find it, it's the only editing tool or annotating tool that I've used, but it seems to go pretty quick once you get the hang of it. And then the last thing you're going to need is a resize and pad image script. Um, so I found this from another tutorial series on creating object detection data for NVIDIA digits. Uh, so they create object detection for FedEx and UPS uh, trucks or logos. Um, and if you scroll down past the array of images, there's the Python script, which I just copied and pasted into a text editor and saved as a Python script, which you can find in this Python folder.